Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your love reading for December 2022. Before I begin, I just want to thank you guys. I want to give my thanks to all of you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments for helping my channel grow. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have wonderful holidays. So I just want to say that before we begin. Okay, now let's see what's going on for Aries in their love life. Let's see. Ooh, who's stuck in their head? You or somebody else? Okay, someone feels stuck. They're not stuck here. As you can see, they could easily remove these ties around them, remove the blindfold, and walk right through the swords. There's an, and there's a castle there. There's refuge there. Okay, let's see. What's going on? Ah. Someone is really doing a lot of thinking about whether they want to put some work into something. They might put a lot of work or whether they want to continue. You're almost there. It seems like there's one more pentacle to go. Don't give up yet. It may, things are taking a little slower with all the retrogrades, so... Give it a little more time. Let's see. Ooh, someone's coming towards you quickly here. Or you're moving in a fast direction. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get a charm here. And we, oh yeah, someone's coming in wanting a commitment. Stability here. Long lasting, long term relationship. That's what they're thinking about. Settling down, stability. Who is this? Okay, let's see. Let's get a knight of wands. Okay, in the recent past. Ah, you might have got a message from this person already. And maybe, I feel for someone you didn't answer it. So now they're coming charging. <laughs> you didn't answer, I'll come face to face. That's why someone wants a face to face if you didn't answer them. Ah, or may they message you because they're at a distance. We have the airplane here. So this could be someone has to travel to see you. It's not, I mean, it could be a you know another country it could be another state or it could be just you know they have to travel to get there okay so let's get a page of wands aries leo sagittarius that's the past energy now in the near future ooh, are you walking away from something or someone else's someone's leaving something that's no longer fulfilling it's not satisfying they might even be like this could be like throwing the keys on the table in a house and saying i don't want anything to do with anything and walking out leaving something behind here hmm Okay, and coming in for you. Okay, there might be something that you're um, trying to achieve here and you are above the rest. If you're looking for like a raise or promotion and other people are too, or a, a position, um, you know, a candidate for a position for a job, you are above the rest. You are standing out. Okay, now, outside influences. We have the Two of Cups. So see, with the Two of Cups here, that is a partnership. Someone's thinking of you in a partnership. Now, this could be a business partnership. We love partnership. Also, this card for the soulmate connection, too. So, someone's thinking about a partnership with you. Your energy here is the Knight of Cups. Are you offering someone your cup? Let's see here. So, it's Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have the Lotus. It feels like a very strong spiritual connection here. Let's get the Knight of Cups here. Okay. Yeah, so this is your energy. Be on a very strong spiritual connection with someone. Now, let's see. We have the hopes and fears. We have someone might be hiding something or someone's fearful this hiding something. There might be a lot of emotions here, but they're hidden. And maybe someone's fearful about what the emotions really are because they don't know. Either you or your person or maybe both you don't know what the other one's feeling. Pisces energy. Now, possible. Oh, look at these knights. Wow. Okay, something's coming fast toward you. Some kind of information. Something's coming in here. Um, this Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. We have here. Oh, someone's coming in fast. Maybe they know your other people are interested. In you. We have two open hearts connected here. So someone's coming in fast to speak to you about love. Okay. And then we have. Mm, you're going to have to make a decision here. You have the two of swords. You're not sure what to do. And we also have the spy guy. Okay, someone's watching you. Someone's um, keeping tabs on you. And we have the Queen of Cups. I think they see you as very loving, nurturing, caring with the Queen of Cups here. Okay, let me just get charm on the spy guy here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have, oh yeah, there's memories here. We got the elephant. Elephant for me is big memories. This person thinks a lot about you. And maybe that you, you might, this might be two different people. Or I think you have a few people that are interested in you, to tell you the truth. And you can't decide what to do here. Let me get a page of swords here but the spy guy someone could be watching your social media or asking around about you your friends and family or just trying to see what you're up to or see if you're with anybody 
Now we have the Queen of Cups here. This is your energy, I feel. It could be uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be anyone here. You're looking at your cup here. Oh, you, you're looking at who to cut out. Look at that. You got the scissors. So you're trying to decide how to make a, um, a decision here. Someone has to be cut out. And I think it's really weighing heavy on you because you're, you know, this cover, this, this cup of love has a cover on it. It's almost like you don't want to express your feelings right now or you're afraid to. But you have people interested in you. Okay, so now... Why do we have the Eight of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Hmm. Someone's afraid of someone either stealing your heart, hurting you, or it could be also expressing yourself. Either you're holding back, someone else is holding back, someone's holding back here. Okay, what about the Seven of Pentacles? Ah, another one. <laughs> okay, you must be getting very popular here. <laughs> we have someone else coming in here. Page of Cups to offer their love. And they might even be offering an apology. We have the cat here. This is independence, balance, um, psychic abilities. So, someone's coming in here to try to offer their cup. Let me get a page of cups now. Hmm. All right, let's kind of clarify this Knight of Wands. What's going on with this Knight of Wands? King of Swords. Okay, so you could be dealing with a King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone's very intelligent. Someone that um, says it like it is. And they might be coming in quick. Passion to to win your heart here. Okay, um, let me get a charm on this King of Swords. We have, oh, a little heart with a tree. Their love is growing stronger and stronger for you. We got the heart with the tree, and I never seen that charm before. It's pretty nice. Okay, now, what about this page of wands in the past? Some kind of someone contacted you from afar. Someone, oh, you got a message somehow here. Let's see what's going on with that. Ooh, okay, you're gonna be very busy. <laughs> we have this person has love for you. Here we have the king of cups. This person that contacted you with a message, they want to. They want to express their love to you, or they did express their love to you, and I don't know if you accepted it. And we have here another, is this an elephant? Yeah, another elephant. A lot of memories here. Okay, King and Knight of Cups. Okay. Wow. Okay, we're going to have a lot of words on the table. Oh, boy. So this person's moving away from this Eight of Cups to go to their Ten of Cups. Could be you, or you could be moving to something. But that came flying out. Someone definitely is not happy with the Eight of Cups. They want more. There's That was not fulfilling. So Ten of Cups is coming in for you guys, it looks like. Okay, what about this Seven of Wands? Ooh. Okay, this feels like someone's fighting for your love. Now with all these cards on here, what's coming in is there's a lot of people interested in you, Aries. And this person here is about the rest, whoever this person is. And they're fighting for your love. Okay, see, we want to have a soulmate connection here. Let's see, what's going on? Ooh, hangman, Pisces energy, waiting for the right time, seeing things in a different perspective. What about this um, Knight of Cups? Trying, this is your energy, trying to make a decision. That makes perfect sense. You're juggling things. You're trying, you might be dating different people, trying to figure out which one's the right one for you. Trying to balance out your life here. What about the moon? This hidden energy. What's going on with that? Justice. Yeah. Okay. Justice is going to come out. Libra energy. So whatever's hidden, I think it's going to come out and there's going to be justice. Okay. So now what about this knight of swords? What's going on with that one? This is a burden. Someone's coming towards you because they can't help it anymore. They have to come towards you quickly because it's a burden thinking about you. So they're coming in. What about the two of swords? Ooh. Not sure what to do because you don't trust some of these people. There's gossip or there's some, maybe you heard something that you don't trust. Okay, what about this page of swords? This page of swords wants a victory. That's why they're watching you. They want to make sure they come in correctly and they do the right thing to win your heart. And they want a new beginning. Aries, Aquarius, Energy, the Fool. They want a new beginning with you. Okay, let's see what else we get for you guys. Let me just move this over a little bit. Okay. What else do we have here for Aries? 
Got a lot of people around you. A lot of people interested in you. You're doing something right. Okay, someone is having a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. They miss you. They're waiting for the right time to come towards you. And they might be sneaking around trying to find out what's going on. This is a very sneaky energy. They don't get away with it, though. They're under the moonlight. They're dropping feathers. And someone's squealing on them. So this person's trying to find out about you. Someone, whoever they're asking, is going to tell you. They're not going to get away with the sneaky behavior. But they do miss you. Okay, now we have the world. The ending of a cycle. Start a new cycle. You're probably really focusing on your work. But... This is what I feel like now. You're ending some kind of cycle, starting something new. May, might be starting a new job, a new project, or, or you got a lot of things going on here. You're working on something here. Or you might be mastering your craft here. But we do have the Page of Cups coming in here. Let's see here. Someone's coming in to offer their love. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be any sign. And we have a snowflake. It could be when it snows. They might come during the snow. Or I think of the snow as no two snowflakes are alike. So they see you as very unique. Okay, one more here. Okay, someone wants commitment here, long term. They want to even give and take, and they want to partner up with you. And we have the emperor showing up. Your energy, you're in charge. It just seems like you got everything under control. You might, you know, it's all up to you what you decide to do because you have these different people interested in you. Okay, but someone wants commitment here, and they're going to tell you they want to have it even. If they, if someone in the past that didn't give, and you did all the giving, that's going to change in order to be with you. They know they have to do that. Okay, let's see what else we get for you guys. What else? I'm going to get this charm out because it's bouncing up too high. Okay, the airplane. <laughs> the airplane's in the way. Okay, just so I put the words on, I have a little more room. Okay. So, what else do we have here for Aries? Money. Unbalanced finances have hindered your romantic endeavors. That might be this. This person might have not gave to you. They might have been taken. Maybe that's why they're coming in to fix this. And then it says sexual union. A strong, passionate, physical connection with someone. Well, I would say you got some. <laughs> you got a few to pick from here. Okay, let's see. And then we have crossroads. Yeah, you're at the crossroads, right? There is an indecision someone needs to make a choice oh yeah on the bottom we have here make the effort great love is worth putting in the time and effort yeah so don't pass on these people because someone is really worth it to to put the time and energy into you'll be very happy you did okay now let's see okay i'm gonna start with the knight of swords on top there i got a lot of people over here together so let's see we have realize Ooh, a tower. Something happened and someone realized that they got their karma here. They got hit with karma. Whether good or bad, airy Scorpio energy with the tower. Someone realized they got whatever they put out here. Okay, so now what about this page of swords, the spy guy? What's going on with that one? We have separate friend or friends admitted. Okay, someone might have admitted something about their friends or friends they're separate with maybe they separated from their friends or mm, maybe they were maybe they got intimate with a friend or friends so you know quote friends okay i don't know take that if it resonates okay page of cups we have regret well this is coming with apology contact Ooh, another tower someone's gonna surprise you show up to contact you and tell you how much they regret something here. Aries Scorpio. It's going to scare it's going to scare you. Oh, maybe it is. I, I don't mean to say I didn't mean to say that. I can say surprise you, but scare came out. Maybe when they show up, it's going to be such a surprise. You might turn around, they'll be right there and they might scare you. You'd be like, oh, where'd you come from? You know, type something like that. Let's see. What about the Knight of Cups? We have the end likely lion. Okay. So Someone was likely lying, and that put the end to a connection here. Okay. You could change that to whatever you want to do there. Might make more sense another way, then go ahead. Okay, page of wands. We have... This is the one with the airplane, right? Yeah, I'll do that. Airplane's my way. New start. 
reunite alone. Okay, someone wants to get you alone to talk about reuniting and having a new, a new start. That's what I get for that. You guys can rearrange it to mean something else if you want to. Okay, now, what about this page of cups? Reveal. Lover. Immature. Okay, well, it is a page, so you might figure out, okay, this person you thought was more mature than the immature. They might even be younger than you think, too, I'm getting for someone here. You, they might have told you they're older and they're actually younger. What about the Queen of Cups? Phone call. Message. Apology. Okay, so someone's going to call you to apologize. And that be that looks like the person you're cut out or you want to cut out, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Now let's see. What about this Knight of Wands? Love. Surprise. Single. Okay, someone maybe wasn't single. Now they are. They're going to surprise you that they're single. They have, then they have love for you. What about this King of King of Swords? Honest. Expect. Okay, expect this King of Swords to always be honest. Well, that's nice. So whoever that is, expect them to be honest. Okay, and the Knight of Cups we have. I dropped somebody. Oh, I dropped one. Okay. So I dropped the return one. Okay. Where am I going here? Return. Thoughts. Accused. Caring. So someone's going to return and they recuse someone, maybe caring for someone else or accused caring. Accused, return, thoughts, caring. I don't know. Take if it resonates. Leave if it doesn't. Maybe it's not going to make sense to you. So it doesn't have to. Cause these are general readings. They're all not going to resonate with everyone. So keep that in mind. All right, guys. Now, let's see what signs you could be dealing with. What are the signs for Aries? Oh, I got two together. Okay, so Capricorn, Aries, Aquarius together. Oops. And then we have Cancer. Then we have Aries. Virgo. So it's one, two, three, four, okay. Taurus and Leo. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. So we have Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, and Leo. Now let's do the letters. Do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, someone has a middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, and also your own initials. We have L, B, D, V, P, K, S, E M W V. Okay, so letters we have for you today are L B D V P K S E M W V. Now for the name. Let's do eleven or more names for you guys. What are the names? Let's see. We have Donna and Tria, A N T R I A, Larry, Sharon, Sarah, Brad, Shanda, C H A N D A, Leon, Sharon. No, Sean, sorry. Sean, I already said Sharon anyway. S-H-A-W-N. Miriam, M-I-R-I-A-M. 
And then we have Sherry Lanny, A L A N I E, and Dana, D A Y N A. So that's 10, 13. Okay, so those are your names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. And um, if it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements. Go to Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And if it does resonate, you could also check out your other placements and take all of them, put them together, and get an even bigger reading, more in-depth in reading that way. Okay, guys, I love you so much, and I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.